Hello, my name is Andreas and I work at Kemper. Today we are out in the field, and I wanted to share a few tips with you on how to properly set and optimize the header. These gatherer points on the feeding drums are specific to the 460 Plus machine, although they also apply to the 475 Plus and 490 Plus models. If the gatherer points are not set correctly, it can cause problems. For example, here the gap between the feeding drum and the divider point being too big. This can lead to unevenly cut off stubble, as we can see in this case. To address this issue, it's important to check and adjust the gatherer point setting. Now in this case, the setting on this row is correct, as demonstrated by the visibly different results compared to this row. The problem we can see here may appear due to the wrong gear selection. Specifically, if the length of cut of the forage harvester is too high comparing to the drum speed, it can cause the crop flow to be torn off, leaving material on the header. To avoid this issue, it's important to coordinate the gradation of the cutting length from the forage harvester to the header speed. Short cutting length should be used with a slow speed of the header, while a higher cutting length requires a correspondingly higher speed of the header. However, in the case at hand, we have the opposite problem, the length of cut is too short, while the drum speed is too high, which can again lead to the tearing off of the crop flow. It's therefore essential to always ensure that both the forage harvester and the header are set up in accordance with recommended guidelines to avoid these issues. If the maze is too long or the rows are too narrow, the bar of the header can pull plants from the adjacent row, which can accumulate on the pressure bar. To address this problem, you can install a guiding tube and adjust its height to be in the middle of the bracket and tube. This will ensure that plants strip off earlier and do not accumulate in the corner, helping to prevent the buildup of debris. If the crop is very thin and plants break easily, these plants can accumulate on the bale, obstructing the crop flow. To prevent this issue, it may be necessary to upgrade the header and install a guide bar that prevents plants from hanging on the middle bracket. In cases where there are problems with crop flow separation on the side of the header, cross-feeding improvements can be retrofitted. These improvements consist of sheets that can be screwed onto each feed drum on both the left and right sides of all attachments. If the entire side stops in the field or does not start when the header is switched on, the problem may not be with the clutch or drive, but instead, a piston or stone may be stuck in the saw rotors from below, causing one rotor to block and stop the entire side from turning. Before attempting any other solutions, it's best to manually turn every rotor to ensure they are moving freely. If they are all free, the problem may be with the clutch, 